All right, so uh, at this time, it's my pleasure to introduce our guest speaker, Miss Miami 2017, Stephanie Almeida. I have a few things to say. <laughs> Stephanie graduated from FIU with a degree in marketing. She's been a dancer for 20 years yes. and a choreographer for 10 years. Her year-long platform is Feed Miami. It's a food donation project with Christ Journey Church in Coral Gables, Florida, so she'll be telling us more about that. She's also fundraising for two other important projects, Children's Miracle Network Hospitals and Miss America Serves Compassion and Action. These are, of course, very important social projects. So Stephanie's gonna to talk to us today about becoming Miss Miami, her year-long platform, and what the future holds for her. So please join me in giving a warm Rotary Club Miami welcome for Stephanie Almeida. Yeah. Thank you. Oliver Reese, you were actually wrong. I'm sorry. We're teaching everyone how to wave today. <laughs> Congratulations on the cruise. What a wonderful, amazing opportunity for you guys to serve. It's so funny hearing this from me because I know I'm just a little long, younger than you all, but I'm so proud of you. It's cheesy and it's a little corny, but I'm so proud of you. I think there are so many people that say, you know, the youth are the example, the youth are the future, but we as youth look up to our mentors and our parents and you all being our leaders and we look up to you and are inspired by you and the work you guys do. So thank you very much. Um, congratulations as well on the Centennial Gala, 100 years of service. Again, you guys just keep getting it right. But I want to stick to my platform, Feed Miami. Why? because Feed Miami was really making a huge difference in the community. I served with Feed Miami for a year, a little bit more I think, every Thursday from, I believe it was 10 a.m. 10 a.m. to one, about three hours every day. But every single day, I packed bags and I worked with a wonderful woman, her name is Beatrice Lesher. She's the wife of our campus pastor, Mark Lesher. This woman was an angel, you just couldn't see her wings. And it wasn't an exaggeration. And it wasn't a cliche, it wasn't cheesy. I honestly believe she's an angel, she just can't see her wings. And I served with Feed Miami for a year and I saw the difference and I saw what it did to people when you packed these bags and you gave them and you gave a family about a week worth of food. When they didn't know what was coming the next day, didn't know when they would get their next meal. And that was real hands-on life change. That was hands-on proof and results that I was seeing. Um, knowing that I was making a difference, a real one. Not just saying, I'm sharing um, about Feed Miami. I'm making a difference. I really was. And it wasn't just me. I did nothing compared to the team that is in Feed Miami. Um, they are amazing people. And they give and they give and they give and they have hearts. Bigger than I can explain. And that's the reason why I wanted to continue with Feed Miami as my platform in the Miss America organization. And I'm really excited about that and really excited about the plans that I have and the Feed Miami team has throughout this year to continue to reach out in the community. I'm really looking forward to the opportunities to be able to work with you all um, and anybody you know to be able to further reach our community. We have plans to reach um, our university students, the youth, because we want to get them more involved and engaged in giving and having hearts that are generous for our community, as well as adults who have the tips and the structure, know how to manage these kind of projects. We want to be able to create partners with Feed Miami. Throughout my experience, I had learned so much. I learned a lot of surprising things. Things I didn't expect that pageant girls would be. I went into pageant thinking, this is going to be really competitive. This is going to be really cutthroat. The girls might not be so nice, but I'm going to be nice anyways. Guess what? They're all beautiful, inside and out. Even more beautiful on the inside than they are gorgeous on the outside. I was like, wow, this is Miss America organization. All these contestants are so genuine. They really do care about their community. They really do care about each other. They really want to lift each other up. That's amazing. I want to do that. Other than that, I thought, wow, it's going to be all about me, and it's going to be all about the crown, and it's going to be all the things I did. Wrong. 
so wrong. It's so about the community. It's so about people. It's so about being able to use this little shiny trophy that I wear on my head to be able to help others. This thing I learned, this position is such a mirror, an opportunity to reflect whatever gift I have to help others. It's just a fun. And that's the reason why I wanted to continue um, with the Miss America organization and continue doing pageants. Now, it's a lot of work, and I'll explain to you what the Miss America organization is so you get an idea of what it is to be a pageant girl or what it is to participate in a pageant. The Miss America organization is a scholarship pageant, and they're very focused on being able to give the women who participate and win and do well in their pageants money and scholarships so they can further their education. Doesn't that sound great? When I learned about that, I said, whoa, that's a huge difference. I didn't know that was their focus. I didn't know that was their intention. They're really focused on the intellectual um, worth of a woman. That's so cool. Also, their service. That's so cool. Also, their faith. I didn't know about that. I didn't know that the Miss America organization really, really likes to be able to guide women and grow women in a way and in a path that's right by God. I thought that was beautiful, and that was something I could connect with, and that was something I could support. And so, the Miss Moira organization has thousands and thousands and thousands of local Miss contestants running every year. I am Miss Miami. I'm a Miss. What we also have is a teen pageant. We have a Miss Outstanding Teen Pageant. We have, again, thousands and thousands of local teens running the Miss America organization. So it's not just women between the ages of 17 to 24, but young ladies between the ages of 13 to 16 that get to run for the teen category. Throughout my pageant experience, oh my goodness, I could not explain this better than to say running for Miss Florida was like the Olympics of pageants. And if you know the Olympics, you know what I'm talking about. The competition is fierce. It is intense. It is something that women prepare months and months for, and it is not easy. You think waving and looking pretty and smiling and walking around in a bathing suit and doing a talent is fun? Absolutely is fun. Is it easy? No way. Not when there's 47 other contestants competing for the job of Miss Florida. And the job of Miss Florida is no joke either. <laughs> to be Miss Florida is no joke. You travel thousands of miles all up and down Florida for a whole year. You have service projects like crazy. You have appearances like crazy. Your job demands so much from you. You can't work because Miss being Miss Florida would be your job. You can't go to school because being Miss Florida is your job. And it's a volunteer position, so you don't exactly get paid for it. You're far from your family. If you have a boyfriend, you're far from your boyfriend. It's a humongous lifestyle change for a year. So they, every title holder has the opportunity to share with their heart of service and just pour into people for just a year. So can you imagine? what this young lady, future Miss Florida, or any of the Miss Floridas in the past, have been able to do in that year. The Miss America organization has a team that supports the women that go on to their state levels after they um, win their local titles. Of course, they have ladies that help with their local titles as well. For example, I'm at a local level, I would compete for Miss Florida next, which is a state level, and then for Miss America, and that it stops there. And that track is different than, for example, the Miss USA pageant, which is a beauty pageant and doesn't involve a talent portion. I'll explain the different sections of, this, of the Miss America organization um, scholarship pageant in just a moment. <coughs> but the Miss USA pageant has a local level, a state level, a um, country level, and then it kind of goes worldwide onto Miss Universe. So that's kind of the main difference between the two. Um, pageants as well as Miss USA so I have a talent portion, Miss America does. And like I said, I'll explain that further. But just so you can have an idea of what will happen or how the pageant experience works is for months on end, girls will prepare, young no, ladies will prepare themselves for the pageant. They'll prepare themselves physically, they'll prepare themselves mentally, they'll sometimes prepare themselves spiritually, and I honestly think that is um, a huge 
portion of the challenge of the competition. But the pageant kind of breaks down into different sections. We have an interview portion, which is a portion where you have 10 minutes to interact or speak with the judges, and you panel about five judges. The judges ask you questions on current events, social issues, about your platform, about yourself. And just so you can get an idea, the questions aren't simple, what's your favorite color questions, um, what do you want to do with your life questions. They're asking you about policies and laws that normal people kind of don't know how to answer on the spot. Imagine <coughs> a um, press meeting with the president, the kind of questions they would ask the president. Those are the kinds of questions they ask us, which is really intense. And like I said, no joke. But that is what it takes to be the next Miss Florida, to be knowledgeable and well prepared to be asked those questions and have an opinion on them. The really cool thing about pageants that I learned wasn't they don't want the cookie cutter answer, the answer that says world peace, or <laughs> you laugh, you laugh. But at the end of the day, I know that the genuine answer of some of these ladies is to see a better world um, that's well-rounded, people who have bigger hearts um, and choose love and make better choices and healthier choices for themselves, for their families, and for people all over the world. But during this interview, the ladies will get asked these questions by these judges, and it's very challenging to make sure that you know basically everything about everything. Um, at least that's how I see it. It's important to be so well-rounded mentally and prepared for those questions. And the next portion of the pageant is one that I actually find the most exciting because it really determines how much you want the job, um, whether you're competing for a pageant at the local level or at the state level. It's the fitness, uh, lifestyle and fitness portion, which many people understand as the baby's portion. And they call it lifestyle and fitness because it's exactly that. They're, the judges are looking for a young lady who is fit, who is healthy, who is showing herself as someone who can be confident in her own skin and taking care of her body. And I believe that is one of the areas where we can all challenge ourselves and improve. It's tough because physically you're trying to shift and change your body to be better and it takes a lot of discipline. It's the discipline that, in my opinion, makes it count. That's where you really see how much someone wants someone when they're really famous and they really got that discipline. The next portion is one that I've been very um, comfortable with and have done all my life, which is the talent portion. I, like I said, I was a dancer since I was two years old, and I've been a pro since I believe I was 16, and I've done all kinds of choreography, and I just love to dance. It's my passion. It was what I was born to do. And that's the talent portion. I'll be dancing for Miss Florida. I've got a little surprise choreography that I'm putting together. It's a it's gonna be a lot of fun and represent Miami definitely. And one I look forward to. And then finally we have the um, it's the gown and on stage question portion of the competition. It's a time where the judges get to see the style and grace of the young ladies that are competing. The gown represents um, how you want to present yourself, how graceful you walk in the gown, the style of your gown, the color, the cut, the shape, and that's why it's so important to get the right gown. We have the on-stage question um, at the end of the pageant experience. You're in your gown, you look gorgeous, and you ask, they ask you questions on stage and you have about 20 seconds to answer. And it counts, I believe, for about 20 or 25% now of your overall score. There's different percentages for every portion of the pageant. But that is the portion where we have those nervous girls say, they're for such as world peace, oh my goodness, la 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 la, because you're so scared, you're so nervous. Why? Because it's at the end of the competition and you've worked this hard and they've kind of filtered out the girls now. We started off last year when I was in Florida, we started off the competition with 47 girls. And the competition actually is eight days long. We have three days of preliminary competition. 
there was 46 girls and a ton of sections in the pageant. You've got to be able to, these five judges have to be able to pick a young lady to be the next Miss Florida. But how are they going to see 46 girls perform their lifestyle and fitness, their talent, their on-stage question, their, on, their, their gown, and their interview in one day? That would never happen. We'd be here for a week, and that's exactly how long the pageant is. So three days of preliminary, and now finally we're at the final um, competition day. It's crowning day. We, 47 contestants will go on stage. On that night, 10 are picked. Top 10 was chosen, and we have actually one more girl to make it the top 11 who are the people's choice. People's choice, um, the young lady who's chosen as people's choice is the women, or the young lady who um, gets voted in to join the top 11. And I was one of those top 11 last year, which is a huge blessing and a big surprise. So it's a huge honor to be your Miss Miami. And I'm so excited for the plans that we have ahead. I can't wait to come back from the Miss Florida pageant and share you, with you all the experience that I had. And thank you so much for having me today and being able to be inspired by you all and be able to share my experience and what the Miss America organization is for me. So thank you all so, so much.